felt probably our most improved performance this year. I thought some of the areas we, we really um, shifted our game forward, but in a game probably dominated by defence, we, um, we, we defended well, but you know our timing was out a little bit in terms of the attack side, and we're just going to have to go and have a look at that. Um, a few players over here for the first time feeling the pressure that comes from playing this type of team and but uh, pretty excited about about the next challenge at Alice Park and, and playing for a trophy. Thank you. Sam, what does it, what does it feel like out there? You know, obviously you, you see the games in and the, the noise and everything contributed. What, what was it was a tough game to play with the, uh, the box kind of pressure to that equation? Oh, to be honest, it was, it was awesome to get back out um, in an atmosphere like that in South Africa. Uh, I think it's one of the great challenges in, in Test footy, playing South Africa over here, and the hostility of the crowd and the noise. Um, and if anything, I, personally, I think, speaking on behalf of a lot of the boys, um, you sort of you love that sort of backs against the wall, us, us versus them and the stadium. Um, and I think, uh, look, early on, like they threw a lot of punches um, in terms of their attack, but we did well to absorb a lot. And I was pretty happy with where we're at um, in terms of the scoreboard going into halfway, considering we hadn't got much going on attack. Um, but as it turned out, we, we continued to not quite get enough going. Um, and yeah, and that, that, was, that was the test match. Yeah, that was probably one of the, um, the the keys to the test match was our inability to get enough momentum going. Uh, Malcolm Marks in particular, getting over the ball. A uh, number of things normally um, comes down to the, the ball carry, uh, winning the collision and then snapping the ball back, long placement, but particularly the cleaners, we were just almost half a second off and he was winning that race. Um, and once once he gets in a strong position over that ball, he's um, probably one of the toughest in the world to move. Uh, well, I think there's, you know, there's periods that, that I, I thought we did it well, to be honest, and there was the periods that they, they got reward for it, and that's generally what happens when you play South Africa. You're playing a team that's one of the most, um, you know, they, they win the most jackals in any game, any T1 team, so it's, it's clearly a threat we're working on. Um, and, you know, I thought the, the, our ball carriers are OK, in some ways it's just a little bit of the timing out in terms of the, the cleaners, but clearly it's something we've... We spent a lot of time on it this week, and it was a, a clear threat. And when we got it right, we did it well. And when we didn't, we paid a price. And that's the game that they try and play. And so, part of it is a is it's not just about that. It's about the the defence out wide that forces you in, and and it sort of corrals you into that space. So, flip side of it, we did it too to them as well. And so, it was, I thought it was a game probably dominated by defence. To be to be frank, on both sides. Sorry, who was that? I missed that question. Who got red carded at the end? Yeah, no, he played well, you know, and um, so I probably didn't spend all day watching him, but he uh, he certainly he, you know he he reads D well and very quick, very elusive. Probably just got to work on his technique, chasing high balls. Well, I think quite easily, really. I mean, it's always going to be a, you know, we came over here for a two-game series. We always knew it was going to be tough. And so we felt that tonight. And, you know, they, they get the lollies tonight and they thoroughly deserve that. But like I said, I think that, you know, we've got to take some things out of there that, that we've made some big shifts in. And we 
so we nullified a, a large part of their driving game. You know, we and and again, I thought defensively we made some shifts, and um, and in that last quarter we were starting to open things up. But you know, we started to snatch at a couple of balls, which was frustrating. But um, we just got to take that experience and 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 take it into Alice Park and, and just walk in there and give it a good crack. Yeah, and, um, Caleb and Will. Yeah, look, to be fair, we, we, we were playing in our 25 most of that first half and, um, you know, we were desperately trying to get out. We, When we did get out, we, we conceded a couple of scrum penalties. We were really frustrated. We didn't think we'd get any call our way in that first 25 minutes, ironically, which is a little bit frustrating, so we're going to have a close look at that and that kept us pinned down, so we're forever trying to exit and, um, you know, we want to get them involved. Uh, and but you know it comes to getting into some good territory and good field position which is something that we've got to look at how to do that a little bit more effectively in that first half because certainly you felt them get momentum but like Sam said I thought we fought through that period and you get that in test matches you get periods that you can't get a flow on and you don't get field territory but I thought we held in there really really well but couldn't it would have been nice to execute a little bit better with a couple of lineouts in that last part of that first, second quarter Um, look, yeah, the ball, the ball was slippery, but it's test match rugby, and um, we expect us to be able to execute un under that sort of pressure. Um, there's no doubt that the line speed that the, the box were bringing were, were, you know, not giving us much time on the ball, but we expected that and we, we're trained for that. Um, it's just individual skill sets that, uh, I mean, that's what test rugby is. It's just an, another notch up from the rugby we've been playing, a little bit less time, a little bit more pressure, but it's still executing the same, often it's about executing the same basic skill sets. I, I, can, can I say something to that? I think too is that, you know, like we've, 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 we're coming off a lost series and there's a lot of noise around this team now and, and we're trying our best to really just focus on our own performance. And But you, you feel that and I think it's, you know, when a time's try, uh, when a team's working really, really hard to, to get its game at the level that it wants, then sometimes it's just you get a little bit over eager. And thought there was a little bit of that today, almost wanting it too much and trying a little bit too hard. And you know, so we've just got to look at that and look at today and just calm down and say, okay, well, we've we've got one more chance at Ellis Park to to win a trophy that's pretty special to us. And they had the first bite of it, and and we've got to make sure we respond. But um, Part of that's going to be just to just to sit back and absorb the lessons, trust a little bit, and just just relax and take a take a little bit more moment on the ball and get our skill sets right. So, fully believe we can do that. Yeah, no, I don't think it's a matter of shutting it out. It's there all the time, and but it's look at if you spend too much time immersed in it, it doesn't do the team any good, and so. You know what's important for us is, um, you know, we 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 know we've had a couple of losses. We we understand that. We, but we also know that, in all honesty, I, I thought we we shifted up a couple of cogs in this test. And some of the areas we really wanted to focus on, we made some significant improvements, but didn't quite get the other ones quite right. So, you know, I mean, our our position internally is that we, we we're pretty excited about going to Alice Park. You know, win or lose today, it would have been a big test for us. And you know, but losing today means we'll we'll go and pull out the positives of that that game and, and go into it and give it everything we've got, which is what people should expect out of an All Black team. You just believe in your players, so and we do, and. Um, you know, it's one thing to say you want to get everything right, perfect, but it seldom happens. And and like I said, I think this this team right now, I, I know that we're 
we're developing and growing. I know people are frustrated with that, and and we're frustrated with the results. But at the end of the day, you, you don't achieve the growth that you want if you get too panicky and you start start making you know dramatic changes and, and putting too much pressure on players. We actually want them to feel the pressure tonight, understand it, understand what it's like playing test matches over here, and we've just got to be a little bit sharper in what we do. But fully believe in the, in, the, in the skill sets of the players we've got and we've just got to keep honing it and getting better and better and grow through this tough time. Well I'm going great and my hair is receding pretty quickly but um, it's Look, it's, it's, it's never easy, and because of the standards that we've got internally uh, mean that you want to, you want to do well. And, and, but like I said, I said at the end of the day, we've, we've got a group that is probably, I think, still developing as a team. You know, I think I've been over here for a number of years with probably more established All Black teams than what we've got now, and this one's still growing, and, and it's not where we want it to be, but... I still fundamentally believe that, that it can get there and, and again I thought some of the moves tonight were positive but we've got to prove that next week that we can, can continue to keep growing. So I think one thing that you can't, may not see from the outside but you can certainly feel within the camp is that the belief's really strong within the group. Oh, that, um, even with five minutes to go when there was that, um, the red card, you know, the group there was genuine belief in this. It's only something that you can feel when you're out on the field um, or when you're with a group and you can feel it when it's not there. But um, the group's belief in themselves um, and us and what we're trying to achieve is certainly high. And um, when you've got that and an attitude to, to work hard and try and get better, um, I think it's a good recipe and we've just got to stick at it um, and it'll turn. If, if we didn't have those things in place, I'd be pretty worried. But um, the right ingredients are there. Sam, one aspect of uh, the uh, uh, attack, especially in the rolling ball, has been in our media and yours as well. Do you think you uh, succeeded what you wanted to do today as far as that is concerned? Yeah, I think we did a good job there, to be honest. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if they got a penalty from any of their rolling balls, did they? Um, and, and obviously didn't, didn't score. So. Well, that just highlights an, an area that we've put some focus on in the last sort of 10 days and we've um, yeah, stepped up big time there. Um, so, yeah, pleased with that part of our game. We, we'd, just, we'd just like use it to apply the same for both teams next week. It'd be nice. Yeah, you've got quite a bit against the Speedbox. Um, how would you rate that performance of theirs? Uh, just a long time. Oh, pretty good. You know, it's... Um, Look, they're, 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 there's two teams at slightly different stages out there and they're very established, they, they know their game really, really well and, and they execute it really well um, and, and you could see that. But, but I also felt that some key parts of their game, that they probably didn't get the rewards that they perhaps would have hoped to in that game. And so, you know, we've got to look at the small victories in that space and say, well, that's good. And, and we've, but we've just got to get, a, you know, a little bit sharper and a little bit belief and time in, in our game. And so, you know, like I said, you know, we, we'll keep getting judged on that and, and we, we, we appreciate that, accept that. But it's, um, I think we're getting there. And it's, um, and again, like in the next seven days, we've got to go and, and make sure we take the same steps, I think, that we took uh, in the last week. And, uh, and we'll see what happens. I think, I think the Springboks were awesome tonight. They, they played really well. Uh, as Foss said, they know their game really well um, in terms of the set piece, the dom trying to dominate collisions, but then their kicking game, they created a lot of half opportunities through that, um, and then the breakdown. So I don't think, um, I suppose I touched on it earlier when I said there's, there's genuine belief. I don't think there's a lack of confidence in our team. Um, I just think we're not quite, um, able to get across across the line in terms of the, the performance we're after but um, we're certainly making made some strides so 
um, like any test match, it's a, normally a little bit of both. Um, but I thought the Springboks um, deserved their win tonight. They, they were they were very good.